приступила к производству компьютеров персональный спутник. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How we doing today, folks? You already know what today is. It's Talk To Him Tuesday. Talk to him! Listen, my deepest condolences to anybody who has lost um, a loved one um, during this whole epidemic, this pandemic, COVID-19. My deepest condolences to you and your family. I hope everybody is doing well and is safe, but I'm here to give you, bring you some great message, folks. Whenever I get on live, my whole joint is to educate and separate. That is my job, folks, okay? So um, before we even start, uh, I want to give you a quote, all right? And this hit me kind of hard this morning. It says, a man who dies without adequate life insurance should have to come back and see the mess that he created. I'll repeat that one more time. A man who dies without adequate life insurance should have to come back and see the mess that he created. And that is from Mr. Will Rogers. All right. Now, I was doing a little bit of research, right? And I wanted to know, yo, where did life insurance come from? Who started this whole joint, right? And, um, and I found it. Guess who it was? You know who it was? You don't even know, cuz. So it was, um, it was actually farmers, bro. Farmers, farmers way, way, way back in the day. They utilized their relationships with the banks. They utilized their relationships with the banks and they created the whole life insurance prospect, bro. You know what I mean? So my thing now is, yo, how can we benefit from it, right? How can we benefit from it? Now, I don't know, like, if you follow me with my message that I had last time, one thing that we was talking about last time is, you know, what's the purpose of life insurance? What's the purpose of life insurance? Another, a, a purpose for it is, number one, it's called, another name for it is death protection, all right? Death protection, because we want to make sure that we protect um, the breadwinner of the family, all right? Who's ever bringing in that cash, if it's two people, if it's three people, um, we want to make sure we protect that person. Now, who should buy it, all right? Who should buy life insurance? Mainly people who have who have others dependent on them. All right. If you're somebody you have people dependent on you, guess what, man? You should have had that yesterday. Not today. You should have had that yesterday. Now, what should you buy? What type of insurance should you buy? You should definitely buy inexpensive life, inexpensive term life insurance, I should I should say. All right. Now, today, what I want to talk to you about is how Come on now. You know, big shout out to anybody who's tuning in, okay? Um, how life works, okay? Now, according to the theory of decreasing responsibility, your need for life insurance peaks along with your family's responsibility, all right? So in the early years, all right, if you're just getting started with your family, you may need a little, a little bit of extra coverage, all right? But in the later years, all right, because, you know, the kids will already um, graduate, already moved out. So you won't really need that much um, for insurance, okay? And that's why I always tell people, make sure you get term. Do not get that whole life, okay? Do not get no cash value. So think about it like this, right? Y'all got cars? I don't drive, but y'all got cars? Okay, so if you got a car, do you insure, do you insure your car, right? Yes, you probably do, right? Now, with that insurance, is it connected towards your savings? No, I don't think so. It's not connected. It's not connected towards your savings. So why would you connect your life insurance with your savings as well, too? Come on now. You got to think, folks. You got to think. Now, when you're young, you buy low-cost death protection term insurance, all right? And you want to buy enough to protect the loss of your earning power and Put the maximum amount you can afford into a promising investment program. 
All right. So now think about it, folks. I'm not telling you to do anything that I don't have. OK, because I got the same thing. And my whole thing is, man, to be really transparent. OK, listen, man, I had to get my investment on as well, too. All right. I had to get my investment on as well, too. OK, because this, I believe, is able to help families. OK, it's able to help families. And um, so any questions, man, any questions, please feel free to hit me up in my inbox. Um, today we're living in great technology times. We could actually go on Zoom and actually, and I can actually, you know, um, give you a, a a quote, or you could actually do, you know, start a policy today if you want to. All right. And then also, what I'm gonna do is tonight. What I'm gonna do is tonight. I'm gonna um, we have a we have a meeting tonight. All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave. Um, you know, the, uh, the link towards that meeting tonight. And if you're interested, man, you can get on. All right. And, um, just listening to, you know, what people, you know, how people protecting their families, man, and leaving a legacy out here. All right. So folks live, love, light. I holla. Peace.